Hello and welcome to Kanan's Kitchen. We have something different today to cook. It only takes just over one hour and it's absolutely delicious and something different for your family. It's um, chicken tagine with fries. It's very popular in Morocco, um, this kind of tagine, and it's usually served on special occasions, but we can have this any time of the week. We don't have to wait for a special occasion to cook it. Anyway, these are the ingredients I'm showing uh, that you need for this uh, tagine. Uh, I was showing there the preserved Moroccan lemons that you can get from some supermarkets here in the UK and um, you can get them from Turkish shops also, I've seen them there, uh, parsley and coriander. Not to forget the onions, as you can see there is quite a few of onions because it's the main vegetable in this dish. Um, trust me, it is really yummy once it's all cooked. And also there was some sultanas, that's to sweeten our tagine. That's one, the only dry fruit on this tagine garlic i'm only using half of the, pre the preserved um, lemon to cook with um, our chicken initially and the other half will be adding it later on and of course the potatoes are for the fries Okay, once I've added um, the spices uh, and I put the, uh, the boiling water, I let the chicken simmer for around 10 minutes and now I get on with preparing the rest of the vegetables while the chicken is cooking. After 20 minutes, I'm checking on the chicken. I'm gonna turn it over so it gets to cook on uh, the other side also. 
and I need to leave it for another, I think 15 to 20 minutes. Now I move on to the cooking the chips. Uh, from experience, um, leaving the potatoes sit in water for 10 minutes or more and drying them thoroughly is the secret to a very lovely, crispy and fluffy inside chips, especially if you use the air fryer. Now it's time to add the rest of the vegetables to our chicken tagine. I'm adding the olives and the chopped sliced onions, coriander, parsley, and that half um, of preserved onions that I left behind. And now it's time to add it. And we, we put the lid back on and leave it for another 15 minutes or so until the onion is um, reduced down and cooked. Trust me, the onion in this dish, it really is, comes out really sweet when you're eating it. Uh, it's just um, another flavor, another level <laughs> of the onions, really is uh, tasty. Now the chips looks half done. I think it still needs another uh, five minutes in the air fryer. And this is what it looks like when the chicken is cooked and the onions also cooked. I'll be removing the chicken from the pot because I like my chicken to be crispy. You can, um, of course, leave the chicken in and serve it as it is. Still very tasty, very lovely. But for me, I prefer to brown my chicken. So, um, and that's what I uh, usually do. Um, I did add the sultanas at the end. They don't take time to cook at all. I think I left them for about five minutes. Um, to soak up all that um, lovely gravy and that's it this is the sauce for our dish so we just um, turn off the heat and put the chicken I put it you can put it in the oven but because the air fryer was on um, I was cooking the chips so I thought why not put the chicken in as well <laughs> And now this is our chicken with fries, tagine, with olives and onions and sultanas. This is the final look. It really is very delicious. I would advise anyone who hasn't tried it before to have a go at um, making this dish. Um, it's um, The ingredients are so simple. It's not something that you have to um, go and shop for. Um, most of us have onions and potatoes and chicken at home, and you don't have to use a whole chicken. You can use chicken thighs, chicken legs, chicken pieces, or even if you don't like bones, you can use chicken breasts. But I do prefer the bones because it, it does taste much better. So um, I hope you like this video and uh, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe if you haven't. That really encourages me to, um, to do more, come up with new quick and uh, delicious recipes. So um, until next time, another video, I'll leave you in peace. Bye.